last week I said that I didn't want a uh, vlog this week because we are completely overbooked with examinations. However, since I was not traveling to Vecco today, I have time to, 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 to do a vlog this week as well. And I think it's needed to just mention uh, uh, everything in the course and, and uh, where you should be and what to do and stuff like that. And also some, some, some problems that are, ha have occurred during the week. Uh, let's dive into the course webpage. Uh, we are on part two right now. And the lectures that I was supposed to have this today in, in Vecchio was lecture seven and eight. Uh, I've just now uh, finished recording uh, a complement to the 2016 recording uh, in English. Uh, and I will add it behind this one. So you will find the recording of 2016 and a short update. Uh, if you're an international student, please watch those. Uh, those, those build upon the DOM lecture. Uh, if you're a Swedish student, you can instead, if you like, watch the Swedish lecture, the Swedish version from last year, because that has all of the parts that were missing in, in, in the English version. After you watch those, I recommend you to have a look at the Botboard Part 2 demo, because that is a perfect match for that. Um, also, read up in the course literature. You should do that if you haven't already, and after that you should also watch the asynchronous programming uh, lecture because that is a must for, for the uh, examination assignment. So do that as quickly as possible. After that uh, you could also watch my autocomplete demo that is um, I think good to have uh, for, for the examination assignment. And after that please start the examination assignment. So deadline for this one is the 10th of October. Uh, so, so the deadline coming up next Wednesday. Uh, on next Wednesday we will have the oral hearing. The oral hearing will be divided. Uh, probably me and John will go to Växjö and we will book two, uh, uh, two rooms on the third floor of the B building, is it called that one? The ones with all the staff. Uh, I'm not sure if it's B or D. I'm not that well uh, situated in, in Växjö. But uh, you will find information about where we are on, on campus. So you will be able to book time slots on campus and do a campus uh, uh, examination. But you will also be able to book a distance uh, examination time, uh, uh, a slot for that with Mats and Jacob sitting and doing that over Slack with a webcam and uh, headphones. So if you want to do the distance uh, uh, distance examination, please make sure oral hearing, the distance oral hearing, please make sure that you have headphones and a webcam because that is needed. All of you, whether you are doing the examination in uh, Växjö or on distance, you will need some identification. So please prepare that. You need an identification, a passport or something that will make sure that you are you, and we will have a look at that during that examination as well. Uh, time slots will be uh, will show up down here probably Monday. So from Monday you will be able to book a time slot. Uh, to be able to do the oral hearing, you should have finished the assignment by 7.30. If you don't think you will finish the assignment, please don't book a time because then you can do a re-exam in a couple of weeks instead with the same assignment. Uh, but I think all the information is here. Please, please, please do not forget to make a release on GitHub when you uh, hand in your assignment. That is really important. If you do not do a release, we have no idea that you have finished the assignment. So please do a release. If you forgot to do a release on the first examination, the, the, the part to the part one, you, you we have haven't watched uh, or, or looked at your your examination assignment. If you remember now to oh my god I haven't done a release, please go ahead and do that release now, and we will look at your examination one as soon as possible. Uh, for all of you who have handed in and done a release on uh, on examination one, we have assessed those assignments and we have reported the grades to. Uh, to Lardoc. Uh, if you didn't pass, you, you will have gotten a issue on your repository. So please check out your repository's issue, uh, issue field 
uh, and we have given instructions on how to complement your assignment um, there. And we will do all communication through issues on your GitHub repository. That's the same thing with the second and third assignment as well. Um, I've added these video logs, so, so you will find me talking now here. Uh, so if you want to check out earlier video logs, please do. They are now uh, in, in a, uh, uh, not a playlist, but almost uh, here. I have one problem, and it's the peer instruction that I talked about earlier in the course, because there are some mismatch in the number of lectures that was scheduled uh, and how many lectures I actually had. So, so I probably scheduled one lecture too, too few. Uh, so next week we should have this peer instruction before the examination, but I will have to do some kind of backup plan on that peer instruction uh, and releasing that as a recording on Monday. Probably I will go through all the questions on, on, on the peer instructions and you can pause the video and you can like um, think of a result and then I will show the correct one and we will uh, go through each and every question. On the th third uh, part uh, I will uh, have the peer instruction in the quest planned though. That's it. Yeah, one more thing. Um, we had problems with the examination assignment and the exercises. The problem was that the um, uh, the JavaScript was executed twice, and that was due to that we added support for live reloads on, on, on the page. So when you make a change in the JavaScript or in the HTML uh, and save, then the, 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 the page will reload itself in the browser. When adding that, uh, Webpack injected a built version of the code, making it so that your your regular code got executed together with the built version from Webpack. There is actually no way of of like inserting no modules into that script tag that was added. Uh, so the problem for us is that we had to turn off live reloads once again. So I've, I've updated all the repositories, turned off live reloading, uh, and by that that fixed the problem. However, now if you make a change in the JavaScript file or HTML file, you need to do a refresh of, of the web page. That, that's not a huge thing, but you need to do that in order to trigger the update uh, in the browser. Uh, just beware of that. Uh, remember, I, I've, I've, I've told this several times before, but I will say it again. In my demos that I've recorded, I'm using require and module.exports. In this course, you're supposed to use the uh, exports uh, uh, syntax and the import syntax, uh, the, the ECMAScript 2017, uh, 2015 modules, so ECMAScript modules basically. Do not use require, do not use uh, module.exports and you'll be fine. Uh, there, there is support in the browsers for, for, for the new ECMAScript model. Uh, you can always look at, I think it's uh, lecture five or six for a deeper explanation about that. Okay, so it will be be really exciting to see you guys next week with on the examinations. Um, be, prepared, be prepared, it's not just your assignment that we will look at, we will look at the theory in the course as well and ask you questions. Uh, regarding that theory and you will see examples of that questions when I record this peer instruction uh, video for you on Monday. Uh, but make sure that you read in the literature and not just listen to the, the lectures and the vlogs. You need to read the literature, check out references and make the assignments. So good luck to you all!